Perhaps the sinking of the Titanic was the most famous shipwreck in history, which continues to attract attention even 110 years later. When we think about what people went through that night, a shiver runs through our bodies. From the fascinating stories of the passengers of this ill-fated liner, volumes can be compiled. Today, the tragedy of the Titanic seems as terrible, shocking, and mysterious as it was the night it sank. Even though it seems as if we already know everything about that terrible night, we continue to make discoveries that shock us to the core. Today Top F will tell you about 10 creepy and scary facts about the Titanic tragedy. And before we start, support my channel with your likes and subscriptions and turn on notifications to catch all the new releases. Grab your popcorn, we start. 1. Shoes of the Dead In 2004, a photograph was taken of a pair of shoes lying on the ocean floor at the crash site. On the 100th anniversary of the sinking of the Titanic, the photo was made public. The shoes were so close together that they were probably once on the victim, but the body has since disintegrated. Film director James Cameron has visited the crash site several times, and he says no human remains have ever been found. They can't be, because the bones dissolve relatively quickly at that depth. The only thing left of the passengers who did not manage to escape was their clothes. The fact that the shoes are close together suggests that there was most likely a body there. There is also a version that fish and other inhabitants of the ocean contributed to the disappearance of the body. 2. Confirmation of the Break Titanic into Two Parts When a team of explorers led by Robert Ballard finally located the wreck in 1985, it was, of course, the first time anyone had seen the Titanic since it sank. This ended a 73-year-old dispute over whether the ship broke in two. Two halves of the ship were discovered, confirming reports that had been ignored at the time of reporting the crash. Before the discovery of these wrecks, it was believed that the ship sank entirely. This is exactly what was printed in the American report, although there was a footnote that this was unconfirmed data. Second Officer Lightoller said the ship sank absolutely intact to protect the reputation of the White Star Shipping Company. However, various passengers, despite this claim, insisted that they had heard explosions and that the ship had broken in half. Not all of them saw the ship sink, but they all swore they saw it break in two. 3. The Sinking of the Titanic In 1898, writer Morgan Robertson wrote the book Futility or the Wreck of the Titan. The plot was all too familiar. Robertson wrote about the ship Titan on its first voyage across the Atlantic, which collided with an iceberg and sank. The liner did not have enough lifeboats, but it was described as unsinkable, as it was the largest ship of its time. All this is very familiar to us, but this story was written 14 years before the sinking of the Titanic. Many wondered if Robertson was a prophetic writer, but they objected that Robertson simply knew what he was talking about since he wrote mainly about maritime affairs. Perhaps he saw ocean liners getting bigger and bigger and wondered about the dangers of it, including the threat of icebergs. When, after the death of the Titanic, Robertson was directly asked if he was a clairvoyant, he replied, No, I know what I'm writing about, that's all. 4. A bowler hat and a half-filled glass According to those who have examined the wreckage, some of the scariest moments are related to the fact that one happens to see objects that were touched by a human hand and which remained in the same place where the owner left them. The night the Titanic sank, first-class passenger Henry Harper left his bowler hat in the closet next to his raincoats. This bowler hat will never leave the flooded closet but will remain in its place among Harper's clothes exactly where it was left. In the other cabin, there is a glass of water and a glass carafe on the wash basin. The glass of water is still in its place in the holder. If it were empty, it would be washed out with water from the holder and it would be lost somewhere. But it stayed where it was, which means the owner of the cabin drank from it and left it half full, and it's still there today. 5. The key that could potentially save the Titanic in 2007, 95 years after the crash, an ordinary key was put up for auction, which in itself does not seem interesting. 
What makes it interesting is that, presumably, this key opened a safe containing binoculars and equipment that could potentially save the Titanic from disaster. On that day, binoculars were vital to detect the iceberg promptly. The owner of the key, second mate David Blair, left. Since those on duty at the observation tower did not have binoculars with them, they had to rely only on their own eyes. It has been argued that if they had binoculars, they would have been able to spot the iceberg earlier. Unfortunately, the key will never be able to solve the whole mystery of the Titanic and binoculars. 6. The first Titanic movie was released 29 days after the sinking of the ship. Dorothy Gibson, a popular actress at the time, starred in a film about the sinking of the Titanic less than a month after the ocean liner sank. Moreover, Dorothy Gibson herself was a passenger on the Titanic and survived that terrible night. Initially, Gibson was reluctant to star in Saved from the Titanic because of the terrible memories, but the producers were not far behind as they were sure it would be a great addition to the film. Filming concluded a week later, despite Gibson's numerous breakdowns during filming. When the film was released, it was coldly received. Many critics were shocked that the studio was making a film about one of the worst maritime tragedies in history a month after it happened. On top of that, when they found out that Gibson was indeed on the Titanic and agreed to film, they found it incredible. 7. Violin and Love Story The famous story of musicians who played on a sinking ship is fraught with the most sincere feelings. As the ship began to sink, Wallace Hartley, leader of the eight-piece band, played his violin in an attempt to help the passengers stay calm. In the last minutes of the ship, the group under his leadership sang the anthem nearer, Lord, to thee. Hardly sank along with the ship that night. His body was found two weeks later with a violin tied to it. The violin was a gift for Hardly from his fiancée during their engagement. The violin is engraved with the words to Wallace from Mary in honor of our engagement. In 2006, the violin was found in the attic by the son of a woman. It was marked with the initials WHH. The violin has been passed from house to house for many years. In March 2013, it was announced that this was the violin that Wallace Hartley played during the sinking of the Titanic. Her journey began when Hartley's body was discovered, along with a violin tied to it, many years ago. The violin was returned to his grieving bride, who never married. 8. The iceberg may have been photographed. The ocean liner Prince Adalbert was put to sea on April 15, 1912. The sun had already risen, and the senior steward of the liner noticed something strange on a nearby iceberg. It had a huge red stripe on it, like paint on a ship's hull, and the steward took a picture of it. At that moment, the crew of the Prince Adalbert was not yet aware of the sinking of the Titanic. The steward captioned the photo, the day after the sinking of the Titanic, the SS Prince Adalbert passed the iceberg shown in this photograph. We didn't know about the Titanic disaster yet. On one side, the red paint is visible, which looks like a scratch left by a ship on an iceberg. 9. Frozen Pocket Watch one of the 13 couples who spent their honeymoon on the Titanic consisted of 37-year-old John Chapman and his 29-year-old wife Lizzie, who, after the wedding, went to the United States to start a new life. When the lifeboats were loaded, Lizzie was in lifeboat 4, but then heard that her husband was not allowed to board the boat with her. She declared, I won't go either, and left the boat to stay with her husband. Both drowned shortly after the ship sank into the sea. Mr. Chapman's pocket watch stopped just as it hit the frigid Atlantic waters, 1.45 a.m. on April 15, 1912. The watch was found along with John's body, but Lizzie's body, unfortunately, was never found. 10. Cancel drills in case of an emergency. Ironically, April 14th, the day the Titanic hit the iceberg, was scheduled for an emergency evacuation exercise in lifeboats. For unknown reasons, the exercise was canceled by Captain Smith. If they had taken place, many more people could have been saved. Passengers would likely have followed the instructions and procedures for boarding the boats more carefully. 
That's all for today. Mr. Top F was with you. Thanks for watching this video to the end. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications. Also, write down in the comments what topic of the video you want to see in the next release of Top F. Bye.